Hello and welcome to another CAD clip on AutoCAD 2007 3D and we're talking a lot about solids and surfaces and thickness and stuff like that. Now in the past we used a lot of surfaces in AutoCAD um, and we used 3D faces and we gave objects thickness. I'm finding more and more now that all our solids are here and we have all these great tools I'm using more solids than I am adding thickness. And what I'm talking about with thickness, here I just have a circle that's got some color. This is a closed poly line that has filleted corners. And I can even just, you know, draw a line over here. It doesn't matter. Go look at that in 3D. Okay, any object can be given a line. If a line is given thickness, it just kind of springs up from there. Okay, and after that, you can kind of move it around and stuff like that. And you, you, But it's, it's a line that has vertical thickness, so it's it goes up in the Z direction okay you can do the same thing I'm just undoing here you can do the same thing with closed polylines and circles we've always been able to do that where I can click on a circle and say okay thickness is uh, 15 units and then it goes up by 15 units I can click on this closed polyline and it is a closed polyline I can even see that by going down here and it says closed and I'm gonna give this one a thickness of you know 20 20 units okay and it just springs up from there okay if I look at that in a hidden hidden line with a shift middle mouse button it looks like that and if I look at it in my conceptual view it's kind of like a fence in a sense okay it just has springs up with Z thickness so this tool we're talking about here which is convert to solid in this particular lesson convert to solid this tool is specifically designed to take objects that have thickness and convert those to solids for whatever reason you have to you know use whatever tools you have in here and they've given us the ability to kind of move back and forth between objects with thickness and surfaces and then back to uh, or I should say to solids and then back to surfaces and go full circle so you can kind of mishmash all of your different primitives together depending on what the geometry is so very straightforward we go here and we say convert to solid now remember if I hit F1 right now and go to my help menu there it is right there you know if you hit F1 in the middle of a command it always jumps to that particular command and you can see the real command is convert to solid and it says here converts polylines and circles with thickness to 3d solids basically that's what it is you can have another look at that so converts circles and polylines that have a thickness to be 3d solids. so it goes very quickly we go convert to solid click on here enter done convert to solid click on here enter and you're done okay move that over okay move it back and that's about it converts those objects to solids I always find it interesting to do a list command li for list and list it before and after I do the conversion just to see what it tells me it is okay it's an extrusion now converted it to a 3d solid extrusion so I always I'm constantly listing these objects to see what it converts them um, back and forth from And another note I should mention is a set var called Dell Object, D E L O B J. I don't know if that shows up in a dialog box somewhere. Delete object is a setting where if you set it to be one, which is the default, what happens when it does these conversions? It deletes the original object. Okay, which is what we did here. If I move this, the original circle's gone, and if I move that, the polyline's gone. Okay? If I do an if I draw another polyline over here and C for close I take that and I give that a thickness of 10 enter and maybe give it a different color just for fun okay now watch what happens I'm gonna use my arrow key to scroll back to my Dell object command enter change it to be 0 enter and now when I do my convert to solid and click on here and enter it creates that solid I'm gonna say M for move L for last which means the last object created and there's my original polyline left behind so D E L O B J delete object is a variable that will set on or off switch 
one deletes it, zero doesn't delete the object and you'll see that throughout some of these different conversions. Wherever you lose your original geometry, chances are that Dell object may be playing a part.